Hey y'all! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made the headdresses for both the sun goddess and the light goddess. So if you like this, keep on watching! So this whole process started out as designs that I was just drafting up and sketching. So I'm just showing you all um, basically how I, the creative process and how I came up with this. Um, to create the sun goddess's headdress, I just used several different types of skewers I got from Giant for like a dollar or a dollar fifty. Um, and as well as toothpicks and you see right here I'm using a headband that's rather thick and then I'm just placing the skewers where I would want them um, so I started off with the longest skewers and then I took the the shorter skewers and put them in between but halfway through this I decided I wanted to actually add a third length or like a in between because I didn't really like the distance between the short and the long ones so taking the long skewers I just um, mark a mark where I want to cut off the excess to create that third length and then using that as a guide I just put along um, some more skewers alongside that and then just trace the line or extend it out from there so basically what you're going to be left with um, are all these skewers with the even lengths um, and then you're going to take scissors and use that as sort of like a scoring tool or whatever to basically just make it easier for you to break them <laughs> And so I just go individually and just um, break off the excess. And so you'll be left with the ends as well as your third length. Now hold on to those ends because we're going to be using them later on. But basically this is just showing you the longer skewer, the skewers that we made, the third length, and then the medium size, and then the toothpicks that we'll be using as well as the ends from um, the excess. Now I'm going to go back in. Um, with my hot glue gun so just be careful obviously when you're using hot glue because it's super hot um, I stuck the longest skewer in the center and then use that as a guide um, following it by my medium length or the ones that I created and then I just put those along either side of the longest skewer and glue that down I also put a pad or a notebook underneath to actually hold it down because the the width of the headdress or rather the headband um, is was really wide so my skewers were actually like falling off and falling down because you know it's further away from the the surface so I had to use a notebook to kind of prop it up and keep it in place um, and then I also would recommend you, you you using a different surface than newspaper because I kind of um, got it stuck to the newspaper as you'll see later but essentially I'm just creating a pattern for which um, I would like my, my overall design to be so I had the longest skewers um, about three of them and then I would interchange the medium and the smaller length skewers in between and now here's where I am struggling to take off the newspaper so again use a different surface than I used and then just to make sure everything is secured in place I went back in um, with some newspaper as you'll see in just a bit some strips of newspaper and I just lined them along the edges as you see right here this is just to add um, just basically to secure it and make sure that the skewers don't fall um, well, so we're giving it a little bit more of a foundation and whatnot. So I just put the strip along there and kind of fold it in. And then I made sure to do that on both sides. And then you just want to peel off the excess glue and there you have it. So next what we're going to do is add the toothpicks just to add um, extra, you know, ba ba boom, um, so dimension and whatnot. So we're playing with depth and just making it look a little extra um, so basically I had to use some other leftover skewers just to hold these guys up as sort of a prop so you'll definitely need a lot of foundation when you're making this um, but very easy and then after I was finished that again I went back in with the strips of newspaper to secure everything in place and then remember when I said you're gonna need those ends so definitely hold on to them because I actually stuck them at the top of um, the longest skewers and I believe actually no I stuck them on all of the skewers that um, besides the toothpicks to kind of create this almost um, saint like cross looking design or whatnot it just kind of made it a lot more I guess eccentric or saint like I don't know goddess like 
So you'll see here, I also <laughs> got it stuck to the newspaper yet again, but you're just gonna kind of um, put them in varying lengths or however you want it really. And then there is your final product. Now we're going to take our gold metallic spray paint and just go along all the edges, making sure to cover everything from head to toe. And that is the final product from that. And then now we're going to get into decorating. So again, I always like to give you all creative freedom, but I'm just gonna show you how I designed it specifically. So I just uh, took a faux, some faux flowers I got from AC Moore or Michaels, and then glued them along the edges, both front and back. And then I took these berries, these faux berries I got from the doll store, and just put them along all the spikes so as to make it safe and you know not poke anyone's eyes out. And then I took this um, string that I got from the uh, craft store as well as beads I got from Party City for also for 29 cents. Um, and then this is basically just the final product. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did this. So you see that I'm putting, um, I put the flowers on both sides of the crown to cover up any flaws and all that. And then for the beading, um, these are just the Party City beads. And I glued a smaller portion, I cut it a little bit off and glued it to um, a longer sh string of beads and then glued that longer string of beads underneath the flower. So very, very simple, nothing too complicated or whatnot. So for the tassels, very simple, just took some floor wire, bent it in the shape of a circle, kind of hook thing, looped some string um, and then tied it, cut off the ends and there you go, tassels. So now we're gonna move on to our goddess of light, our light goddess, very sophisticated, serene, ethereal, just overall beautiful and awesome. So to make this, I started off with my pattern. It has kind of like a Pope-like or Pope hat shape to it. Um, so you can kind of see my inspiration was a lot of religious um, icons and figures. Um, so that definitely helped out with making this. And then after I cut out my pattern, I take some old curtains that I had and use that as the fabric and I absolutely love this curtain because of the trim so this was definitely a must when it came down to deciding um, you know how to use this so I cut that out and I made two pieces one for the front and one for the back and there's the first piece and then with the excess, or rather the trim, um, I just, I used every single piece of this fabric, I'll tell y'all, for real, for real. Um, I did not waste a single thing. So I just took the, the designs at the very end and just cut those up and then put them where I wanted to, um, you know, just add a little extra pizzazz and whatnot. And I will say this was probably the hardest one in the sense that it was the most time consuming because there was a lot of details that went into it. There was a lot of cutting and folding and you know draping and things like that. Um, but it was overall, like I think I had the most fun making this one just because of how much detail, because I'm a very detail oriented person. Um, so it was fun for me. So basically you're gonna make sure to make two of everything. Um, so a front piece and a back piece. So as you can see, I have my front piece and back piece for both sides. Now, next you're going to take your skewers. This is just to add support. Um, so it's not just front fabric like flailing around in the wind and whatnot. This is gonna give it body and support and keep it standing. So I'm just laying out where I would like it to go. And then I'm later going to uh, glue everything into the headband and then just cut off the sharp end so nobody gets hurt. And again, just careful when you're using hot glue because it's, it's, it's gonna be hot. Um, and then just similar to the way we did the Sun Goddess, make sure you have support. Um, and a better surface because clearly I don't learn from my mistakes. Um, <laughs> but I just marked, um, as you can see, where I wanted the sticks to be when I first laid them out. 
And then to add extra security, I went in and used um, strips of newspaper so that that keeps that, you know, standing up and um, gives it support. And as you can see, some of my ends were a little bit longer, so I went in and just did a little chop chop here and there to make sure nothing is poking out. And then to secure the lace to the headband, I'm going to take some strips of um, excess lace. Like I said, I didn't waste a thing, a single thing, and I just attached that. And then also, as I was trying it on, I realized I wanted it to go further down on the headband, so I had to go in and add some more supports at the very end, which ultimately meant adding more lace trim and whatnot um, to kind of cover up those supports. So you see here, I'm just placing everything. Um, I took a reference picture so that I wouldn't forget what design I was going for. And then as you kind of try it on, I do recommend you try it on um, as you go. Um, you'll probably realize that you'll need a lot more support <laughs> than before. So the more lace you add, the funny enough, the heavier it gets. So just kind of add things in between and then use your top pieces to conceal everything so nothing everything just kind of blends seamlessly together now before I add the main piece um, after doing the detailing you're gonna see in a little bit that I'm going to add um, horizontal supports so this is basically how they did a lot of uh, sculptures and and uh, architecture there was a lot of beams and supports and things like that so I promise you it was not all gravity, though I wish it was because this would make the process a lot faster. But in this case, we do need a support system, so it is worth it. So next we're going to make the little earmuffs um, that you saw at the very end. Um, basically I'm going to fold a piece of fun foam in half and then I'm going to cut a circle out of that and then I'm going to cut that in half to make two half circles. And then I'm just going to cut a tiny little um, notch into them so that we can bend them and give this kind of a rounded shape. And then we just glue it down to secure it in place. And then we're gonna glue down the ends to the lace. And then to glue it to the actual headband, we're gonna take some extra lace and then glue that to the muffs to the headband, if that makes sense. Oh yes, y'all, definitely be careful because you can see it was hot and I was struggling. <laughs> and then you also want to make sure you um, close out the end by adding the second piece. So all together you're going to make four of these, a front and a back piece for each side. All right, so now we're gonna go in with some white spray paint and we're just going to spray everything so that all of the sticks, um, they don't show, show through. So we're mainly just gonna focus in on the middle. Now, funny enough, the spray paint was a little bit um, off-white than the pure white that it was, but it actually didn't matter in the end because you couldn't see it, so that was fine. And so we're gonna take our top piece and another funny story, I actually lost the first top piece, so I had to go in with some other lace that I had so they're two completely different um, lace fabrics, but it worked out. It looked really cute in the end, so I was like, look, I ain't worried about it. So I just um, cover everything and glue it down. And then to secure this, because this is such a tall headband, it's going to likely fall off the head or fall forward. So to prevent that, I actually created a little head strap or a little headband elastic um, to help keep everything underneath the wig that my model was wearing. 
Um, basically, you're going to just string the elastic through the headband um, underneath the, the muffs and then just tie and sew that or tie or sew that down so that everything is um, secure. And then to cover up the, you know, crusty parts, um, you're just going to take your lace fabric, whatever is remaining, and then just glue that onto there. So I made four pieces for the fronts and backs of each side. And then I just tucked in the excess or cut it off in the end. So you don't see any seams. And then you're just going to glue the excess edges in and then we're going to get into decorating. Now I basically just used um, some beads, some feathers, as well as the string for tassels. And my battery died before I can um, film this part, but essentially it's just a lot of draping, folding, tucking, spiraling, things like that. So just get creative with it and I know it's going to be awesome. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share and stay tuned for more. Bye.